Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, and we're going to look at how to use camera app in uh, Windows uh, 10 and Camtasia to produce complete audio video recording. All right now, I am using uh, Logitech C920 webcam, which is uh, right, uh, right in front of me here. And I have a Dell computer, which is a quad processor, which is recording this at 30 frames per second. And my window size is set to 720p. Basically, to do video recordings for uh, video streaming through various medias, uh, I think this is the best setup for uh, a PC-based system. I have done extensive research looking at the Mac and PC-based systems. But uh, with the combination of uh, uh, webcam app in Windows 10 and Camtasia, uh, I think you have everything that is needed to record the video. Uh, and I compared this with Mac, and there are several problems with Mac. Number one, you don't have a, a comparable camera app in Mac. I may be wrong. If somebody knows it is there, then I would like to hear from you. Uh, since there's no camera app, uh, you cannot really bring up the image other than using QuickTime for capturing the camera image from your webcam. Then you have to use uh, Camtasia to do a screen capture of a required screen capture of a desired area by selecting the, the size. But one of the major problems I find with Camtasia in Mac uh, setup is uh, that you can see this control bar which shows the duration, the audio meter and uh, various uh, steps that are needed for keeping track of what is happening as far as video recording is concerned. To me that is a major, major drawback. I called uh, TechSmith and they said they have no plans to implement that uh, uh, control bar beyond the area of recording. I have no idea why they are not able to implement that because that feature is already there in Windows and I will take a snapshot picture of this and I will put it uh, during this conversation and uh, you will, during this conversation, you will be able to see that uh, control bar as I am recording this particular uh, uh, video. Anyway, let's get back to the PC based system. In the PC based system, you have your webcam which is connected to your computer using a USB connection. Then I have this uh, microphone here. If I guess you can see this microphone. This microphone is uh, connected to my M audio, which I got when I had Pro Tools, uh, so that the microphone input is going into M audio using uh, both right and left uh, XLR connections why I need to have a both right and left XLR connections so that we get audio in both right and left speakers and more importantly we get a very rich audio sound if it's mono then you're going to have a very weak sound as you can see the microphone production with this mic which is fairly almost six inches away from me uh, is pretty good as far as I'm concerned so the audio is coming through the microphone into the M audio but in an, uh, in another room where I have set up I use uh, Focusrite uh, 2x2 box that's probably the best solution for capturing super quality audio for your uh, streaming video productions. Uh, Camtasia can easily pick up the audio source as uh, like uh, M audio or as uh, Focusrite 2x2. When you make that selection Immediately, your audio from the microphone or the lapel microphone, which I use in my other room, will automatically go into the audio part of the video recording. And as far as the video recording is concerned, uh, my the recording software is running right now and it has uh, put a nice yellow box around the area I am recording, which is basically part of the, the camera app, which is... Uh, bringing up the webcam image onto the screen and there are a couple of things i would like to mention uh, for example you see all this uh, icon i mean all these uh, 
buttons here from the camera app. Uh, if you don't like that, what we can do is uh, we can go click on the camera app and and try to move it around so we can get rid of some of these things and also expand the camera app so that it takes away all the uh, things uh, buttons so that you are left with a clean well I didn't want it that much <laughs> so in that way it takes away basically you get the idea so you can eliminate all these buttons while you're recording when you're done with the recording it will tell you how many minutes you have made the recording and also look at the audio quality while you're recording as I said, I'm going to put a picture of this uh, uh, in, in the post-processing so you will be able to see uh, how the audio, I mean the recording meter uh, or the, the window shows all the things that are going on while we are recording. Anyway, when I was recording that uh, it uh, went off because I pressed the stop button. So I have restarted this one. So let us go and let's see how we can post-process this uh, uh, stuff we are looking at. Well, I guess I'm not able to do the post-processing while uh, I'm running this uh, camera. So what I will do is uh, I will, uh, well, here we have the video, which is uh, uh, brought up from the previous recording. And from here, we can go and process this uh, audio and video in the way we want it. Let me see if I can play this one. I'm not sure if it's recording. Ladies and, and you can hear we, we got a pretty good audio here and then you go ahead and process because it's already set to 720p we don't need to make any adjustments and when you've done all this editing cutting and pasting and uh, 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 audio music background then you simply pro produce this as a 720p mp4 only and uh, you will be all set uh, to produce your video and video you can also put a green screen here just enough to cover your background and and put beautiful studio backdrops uh, if you want to that's what i'm working on that will be my next step okay uh, that's all for right now and uh, we will catch up next time you're watching a triple n media i am dr nick nickham and please do subscribe to our youtube channel here and also visit our social media page nick nickham network and like it we'll see you next time thank you